Hey, what's up guys? Kyle here with Awesome Sauce Network. Uh, so I was planning on doing a regular video this week, um, but something happened to the point where I was like, okay, I have to put that video on hold and I have to talk about this. And I couldn't pass up the opportunity to make a video on it. Uh, so I was out to lunch earlier today with my mother and on the way, when, when we got back to her house, my neighbor came out of his house I guess my mom's neighbor came out and he was like, Hey Kyle, uh, I heard you know a thing or two about computers. And then he was like, Well, I've got a computer problem and I was wondering if you'd take a look at it. So I went over to his place uh, briefly, checked out his computer, and it's just a total wreck. I, it's probably... I don't know when he got it, but the, the model of computer itself, it's an HP A6030N if you want to look that up. But it started, I think it came out, released in 2007. So. It's, uh, potentially he's been using it for a good eight years. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. I'm not sure exactly what year he got it. At any rate, he said that there were tons of pop-ups, and, uh, he's, you know, he thinks that there might be viruses on it, which, uh, I'm, I'm almost confident, I'm 100% confident at this point, that there are, uh, probably even worse things than that on, on his computer. So, I decided to take it off of his hands and, uh, bring it home with me to do some magic with it. Uh, here it is, right there. It's a nice little HP. <sighs> Kept it in pretty good shape, actually. Uh, visually, it's not terrible to look at, and even going inside, it doesn't look too bad. Actually, let me turn the, the system towards the window so you get some natural lighting in there. There we go. Uh, cable management could be much improved. There are no intake fans. Uh, you're pretty much reliant on uh, whatever cooling this this little Cooler Master uh, AMD cooler is doing, uh, and that being exhausted by the single yellow fan right there in the back, as well as the power supply up here, uh, which is just sucking in more hot air and blowing it out the back there. Really quickly, here's here's a look at the specs. I've got the system uh, powered up right now. It's uh, running AMD Athlon 64X2 dual core processor, so at least he's got two cores in there. It's not too bad. Um, I bet once I do a, a clean install of Windows here. Uh, it, it should be running just fine. It's a 4800 plus, 2.5 gigahertz, uh, 2 gigs of RAM. Yes, you can see there's two sticks right there. Just two of them. Uh, there is room for two more, so you can get a total of 4 gigs, but that's pretty much the max you'll be able to get because this uh, the hard drive is running Windows Vista 32-bit, so um, four, four, we're pretty much stuck with 4 gigs for now. I wish I could slot some memory in for him. I do have some spare DDR3 DIMMs on me right now that I wouldn't mind parting with. He could probably use them much more than I can. Uh, but these are, this is a DDR2 board. Uh, they, they, they're, yeah, so we're, we're talking last generation, all the things. Uh, we got a 320 gig, I think that's a WD Caviar drive right there. It says only drive in the system, but we will be wiping that because uh, at first I was like, well, you know, how bad is it? Maybe he's exaggerating things. Oh, oh, it's bad. It's bad. Check this out. Well, first off, got a three got a 3.0 in Windows Experience Index. Now, you guys remember Windows Experience Index when that was a thing? Uh, but I pulled up Task Manager here, and this is seriously just from turning the computer on. I haven't started running any problems, or any programs, I'm sorry, uh, and we're already seeing, like, spikes up to 99% CPU usage at times. Um, so this is, this is serious. Like, right there, 99, right there. Uh, to the point where, like, I can't even move the mouse cursor. Uh, and you can also see 1.3 of the 2 gigabytes of RAM is being used currently. And this is just what, what I would consider idling. But obviously it's not just idling, because there are background programs that are just running, uh, unbeknownst to him, my neighbor, uh, and you can even tell from down here, look at these freaking icons. His icon tray is just littered with junk. I mean, what is this? Live weather bug? Driver restore is trying to connect. Some some things are trying to hack into your computer. That's, that's what that means. Oh god. Oh god, what's it doing? So I think right now the next step is to go into his folders, uh, try to find his pictures and other important documents, and basically just back those up onto an external hard drive so that he doesn't lose them uh, once I do a clean install. And then at that point, I'm just going to revamp this system. I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to have to gut the whole thing, but I'm definitely going to dust it out uh, and maybe do some rewiring, make it look nice and pretty, because, you know, that's how we roll. Uh, and that should be pretty much it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this, uh, I guess, this PC makeover that I'm about to do.
is the revamped system sitting all nice and pretty in my room. Oh yeah. Uh, you can see it looks uh, much cleaner. It wasn't terribly dirty to begin with. It was actually a lot cleaner to begin with than I thought it would be, uh, but there was still tons of... Oop, I just nicked myself with the fan. Uh, there were still tons of dust buildup, uh, of course, on the bottom and just resting on top of all the other components. I pretty much deep cleaned this entire thing. I didn't uninstall the motherboard or uh, the power supply or the hard drive or anything like that, but I did take off the, uh, the the exhaust fan as well as the CPU cooler, as you guys probably could tell from the time lapse, and I deep cleaned the, the crap out of both of those things because there was just uh, quite a bit of dust buildup on them, and I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't impeding any performance. Uh, just uh, apart from dusting, I, I I did try to tidy up the cable management as best I could. Of course, that's easier said than done when you're talking about a non-modular power supply, uh, as well as no space whatsoever behind the motherboard tray to do any cable routing. So that's why you can see here all the cables are just kind of hanging out uh, in the only compartment of this chassis. Um, of course, dealing with the IDE cable is, is virtually impossible. Um, there's just no great way to route that. Uh, but I think I did a fairly good job considering, all things considered, uh, I kind of tried to tidy up the CPU, the 4-pin CPU cable right there, uh, as well as the fan cable. I'm really happy with how uh, how clean the heat sink turned out. It just looks, it looks brand new. Uh, in fact, this whole system almost could probably pass for brand new, uh, just because I did a pretty good job cleaning it. Uh, but apart from that, uh, I did do a clean install of Windows 8.1. Let me turn the aperture up here so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Here it is running. Uh, I've got a YouTube video open uh, that's playing right now at 480p, as well as WordPad. These are the only two applications I have running right now, uh, because I feel like this this is my best guess at the t typical workload that my neighbor will be um, uh, utilizing on his system at any given at any given moment. He's not a power user whatsoever. He's a very very basic user. He's he's an older guy. Uh, he's not a tech. He's not tech savvy or anything like that. So he's not going to be doing too much on this system other than probably have a couple of these simple applications open. Uh, so that said, we've got about 35% CPU usage, which is better than what we were seeing at so-called idling uh, before I went in and uh, fixed things up, just because there was so much malware and, and viruses running in the background. Uh, but I, you do still see the CPU spike up to 99% uh, just just at certain moments when the video is playing, which uh, just, you know, it, it, this is an old-ass old system. And if I were to make any recommendations, hold on, let me turn the aperture back down so you can see again. If I were to make re any recommendations for my neighbor to upgrade, I'd probably just suggest getting like a, you know, a more current gen FM2 plus uh, CPU. Uh, that way you can take advantage of DDR3 memory, possibly get more than two gigs in there. Um, you know, maybe a Kaveri APU would work out pretty nicely for his needs. But uh, hopefully he will notice a huge, a huge difference in, in terms of speed with this new system. Uh, I shouldn't say new, but this revamp system. And hopefully it uh, makes him happy. That's what it's all about. So that's going to conclude it for now, guys. I know this was a really impromptu video. Uh, I didn't really plan it too much. It's very uh, kind of haphazardly thrown together. But hopefully you guys still got a kick out of it. I, uh, I really enjoy tinkering with this sort of thing. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy watching it. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to toss me a like on the video if you liked it or if you like this type of vloggity stuff. And I think that's pretty much it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.